Now, the final part of this is to look at a confidence interval. This is before we move on to the proportion test. Now, I've used the same information there, and I've given you this file on the web page, the bear sales values. And what I've done here is to use the descriptive statistics. And in descriptive statistics, inside of the data analysis, you know that within descriptive statistics, we're looking at summary statistics and confidence level. You'll notice then, if you tick the confidence level for the mean and the summary statistics, as I've done down here, Excel will give you the information which includes a confidence level. Now, this confidence level represents what's called the margin of error. It's the bit that's plus and minus from the mean. So the mean value plus and minus the confidence level called confidence level in Excel. So the confidence level, which is the same as the margin of error. Now, in order to get a confidence interval from Excel, all you have to do is to add the mean to the confidence level to get the upper limit of the confidence interval and the mean minus the confidence level will give you the lower limit of the confidence interval. And you can look in Excel and do that for yourself. So all I've done to get those figures on the right hand side there, 8.81 Two nine six seven and nine point eight three point nine eight seven. Those numbers are mean, and I've used a formula there equals cell D four minus cell D seventeen and cell D four plus cell D seventeen. So we can use Excel to find a confidence interval by using the descriptive statistics as long as we have the original data.